maybe start by explaining like what your role would be for Iron Chef. I'm the floor reporter. I walk around and I ask the chefs really annoying questions as they are cooking for their pride in the course of an hour with an ingredient they didn't know they were going to have to cook. So I'm the annoying one. Right. I'm relatively annoying too because I'm shouting at them from a pedestal up above. Um, and I'm hosting the show, calling the shots, mm -hmm. and sort of watching the action unfold and okay. translating it to the viewers as I see it. Oh, awesome. How are you trying to incorporate your expertise in, into your roles? It's, I mean, that is, we're doing that constantly, it's fascinating. We're seeing things take shape, we're taking, we're seeing dishes take shape, we're seeing ingredients that maybe we've never tasted before, we're seeing techniques that maybe we've never witnessed before. And our job, in real time, live over the course yeah. of an hour, is to make sense of them and to explain them to people who may not be chefs, who may not be cooks, who, you know, may be watching for entertainment and may not know a lot about food, but want to know, are interested. So, you know, we're constantly drawing on that experience. I mean, is that what you mean? Say yeah, that. absolutely. I mean, we are sort of doing the play-by-play. -play. Imagine you're at a basketball game yeah. and you are the sports commentator, and that's what I feel like I'm doing, and I couldn't do it if I didn't understand the game, mm -hmm. right? So a lot of it is about explaining and walking through as it's happening, as the action is unfolding, and calling ingredients, describing technique, describing mm -hmm. and anticipating what the chefs are doing so that we can help the viewers understand it at home. What do you find is one unique thing about um, each of the Canadian Iron Chefs that kind of sets them apart from the other Canadian Iron Chefs? Sure, well there's five Iron Chefs in Iron Chef Canada and they're very different. It's actually a really diverse, interesting mm -hmm. um, group of cooks that have very different skills. So Lynn Crawford who is you know, she is a force in Toronto, her restaurants are here, but she has been cooking, I mean, she cooked in New York, she cooked in DC, she has, you know, an amazing base foundation of European French technique, mm -hmm. but she really applies it to simple comfort food, I would say, you know, classic food is very classic, food. absolutely, yeah. in the most delicious way. Mm -hmm. um, Hugh Atchison, who's from Ottawa originally, but mm -hmm. his, his restaurants are in Georgia, in Athens, in Atlanta. Yeah. And so he's able to call from the amazing amount of knowledge he's gained there mm -hmm. about okay. the tradition of Southern cooking melded with Canada. And he really deeply understands that sort of history and culture. Um, Sue Sir Lee, obviously decades of cooking here mm -hmm. in Canada, but Chinese, Singaporean, I mean his influences are so vast that he calls from all over Asia. And like Austrian country. occasionally. For sure. Like, it'll do. French technique, oh, of course. He's really, you know, he's just a badass. He's great. Amanda Cohen. Amazing. And she's a vegetable forward chef. So her restaurant's mostly vegan, but she would call herself a vegan chef. Her restaurant in New York, Dirt Candy, was a trailblazing restaurant cooking vegetable focused food in really innovative ways. And then there's Rob Feeney, who's a master on the West Coast. And for years, Rob has run some of the best restaurants in Vancouver. A lot, you know, seafood heavy, really pulling influence from the West Coast of Canada. Okay. And he was one of the chefs to put it on the map. Every week there would be one secret ingredient that's going to be used, right? So how is that secret ingredient determined? Our producers make that okay. decision. Um, but they're all there for a reason. I mean, it's not arbitrary. The ingredients are either something that is very personal to Canada, mm -hmm. um, that we know can be used in so many different ways, in different variety, yeah. um, and that really showcase the amazing kind of farming or agriculture or proteins and use of ingredients in this country. So there's a lot of great local yeah. food to Canada. And there's going to be a challenge. I mean, that's one of the big things. You want when that, you know, when the curtain comes up or when the top comes off the altar and through the billowing smoke in the spotlights, you see the ingredient, you want the chef's beard. Ah, and they are. Okay. okay. Can we expect that most of the secret ingredients are specifically local to Canada? I mean, it's not that they don't exist in other places, but there certainly is some sort of connection. Okay. So whether it's from the ocean or from the ground or wherever it is, um, from the earth, there's definitely local varieties okay. of it. And I think also the purpose of that secret ingredient is to teach us all something. So there's often varieties of the ingredient that 
we learn from that you don't necessarily associate traditionally with what it is. You know, different cuts of meat that mm -hmm. we're asking them to use, or different varieties of our fruit or vegetable. Um, you know, when we say clams, we don't just mean one type, and you get to see a really broad range. Mm -hmm. How are the judges and the contestants normally get each week? The culinary producers. Uh, you know, there are producers who specialize in food in the food mm -hmm. scene in Canada. They're constantly out eating across the country, meeting people, what's good, what's interesting, who could be the very best for this competition. So they're out finding those people, okay. and they do, they really, yeah. you know, casting is so important in yeah, a competition yeah. like this, yeah. and they have cast nothing but great okay. chefs who are going to bring it and who do bring it. Mm -hmm. Are there any future plans to, in, to include maybe like, um, outside of Canada chefs to pit against the Canadian other chefs? Not at the moment. I mean, right now, we really want to focus on Canada because this show is truly about the greatest chefs in this country. Um, perhaps further down the road, we would. I mean, I Chef America sometimes brings in Canadian chefs, for example. Um, so perhaps that's an idea. But this season, our first season, is really just showcasing our country's talent. And the thing that's fascinating is, it's not like we're going to run short. I mean, yeah, there yeah, is no such run. talent in the country right now. But that's a really interesting proposition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was actually asked by one of my followers. So yeah, and I found it was interesting to ask. Oh. Mm -hmm. And what do you find you love most about being part of Iron Chef Canada? I love watching the ideas unfold. I mean, you have some of the best chefs on the continent, some of the best chefs in the world mm -hmm. who are doing incredible things with an ingredient they've just learned about and they're doing it in an hour so you watch them create in real time in any industry whether it's food whatever it is when you see people conceiving of things creating on the fly it's fascinating sometimes it's a little bit disastrous but most of the time especially in the hands that you know are on this competition it's delicious it's inspiring and it's awe-inspiring as well that sounds amazing. Like, I'm very looking forward to watching it tomorrow. Then. Thank I you. Yeah, enjoy it. It's very exciting. It was yeah. really, it was really a thrilling. Moment. Yeah. It was just super remember, amazing to shoot. I used to watch watch the Japanese version when mm -hmm. I was still in the Philippines. So it's exciting to see that we have our own. Yes. Out. There you go. For us too. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank amazing. you so much. It's a pleasure. Thank you.